Welcome to Andy's Garage, I'm Andy Phillips. Today we're going to be talking about how to repair flat ribbon wire or ribbon cable um, if it's been damaged. Uh, this is a lot of times used with um, electronic devices in the car going behind the dash. Um, on a particular vehicle that I'm working on, it has a digital display for all of the uh, RPMs and the mileage and stuff. And this is one of the cables that connects that for the signal. And it's been damaged, so we're going to go ahead and show how to repair that. So let's get started. With this particular ribbon cable here, um, it was going behind the dash of the vehicle when we were doing some work. Uh, it got damaged in the process. You can see that right there, it's pretty bad to chewed up. What we're going to do, rather than replace this whole cable, which can be costly if you're trying to find it from the manufacturer, is we're just going to go ahead and cut that section off. And then just using these basic male-female connectors, just put a, a, another plug on this end and on the other piece where it came off and reconnect it. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is, here's that section here, you can see where it's bad, so we're going to come right behind it here and just do a nice clean cut, removing that. There we go. Next thing you're going to want to do is taking one of these male connectors here. Basically what you do is you lay the ribbon onto the track here, and then you're going to go ahead and crimp it in here to make the connection. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and we'll be right back. Okay, went ahead and put it on. You can see there, basically put it inside of the plug piece. Uh, you're going to have to use like a uh, little bit of force to get it to clamp down over that. Uh, what I did is I just used a, a rubber mallet, gently tapped it down, putting the uh, female connector on this end so it wouldn't cause any damage and got it all nice and crimped in there. You can see that. So now we're ready to do the other side, and then uh, we can get this thing uh, plugged in and give it a shot. Here we're looking behind the dash. You'll see here's, here's the other piece that we'll have to connect the female end to. Want to make sure that the cable is lined up properly uh, with the red. You have the red line. Make sure that matches up with the, uh, with the plug on the other side, so that way the wires are connecting properly. Let's go ahead and get that, get that, uh, that plug put on this end so we can put it together. Here we are right here. There it is completed. Um, <clears throat> the plug has been locked on. So we're ready to plug it in, give it a shot. As I mentioned before, make sure that the red line matches up on both ends so you can make sure that the cable is connected properly. So let's go ahead. All right, and there we have it. <clears throat> we have both wires going into their connectors. Everything has been plugged in. The connection has been fixed, then we'll go back and trim some of that excess off, and then basically that bad piece has been removed, we've reconnected the wire, and everything is good. So there you have it. All right, well there you go, that concludes this, uh, this video here on how to repair um, the um, that ribbon cable, um, if it's damaged, by just getting the connectors and reconnecting it and removing that piece. I hope this video helped you out. Please send any comments. Please like and subscribe. We'd appreciate that. And as always, we'll see you next time.